Hello everyone, this is a quick video to give an overview of databases, data warehouses, data lake, data marts and lake house and also the difference between all these. So let's begin with the video. This is going to be a very interesting video. Also make sure to watch it till the end as I will be sharing an analogy that will make it very easy for you all to understand the differences between these terms. So this is a visual diagram of database, data lake, data warehouse, data mart. We'll get back to it in just a bit. But let's first start with what is a database. The purpose of a database is to store and manage structured data for daily operations. It is a foundation of OLTP. OLTP is online transaction processing. It has live and real time data and data structure is in the form of tables with defined schemas like rows and columns. So your data will have rows and columns. It will have structured data. So an example of a database would be if you want to store all the customer info or the order info that you can store in databases. And use cases would be crude operations, online systems. Crude is create, read, update, delete. Examples of databases would be MySQL, Oracle. Benefits is fast transactions, data integrity, real-time support. So the data would be real time and live. This is a database. Whenever we are talking about a database, it is mostly relational database, which has rows and columns. Now let's move on to data warehouse. Data warehouse will have summarized data that you can use for analytics purpose. So as you can see in this diagram, you have a couple of databases and using ETL, you can summarize it for analytical analytical purposes and that can be stored in a data warehouse. It is for larger data sets. So as you can read over here, the purpose of data warehouse is analysis and reports large data sets for insights. It is a foundation of OLAP. OLAP is online analytical processing. Data is refreshed from source systems. So it will not have live data. It will depend on what is the frequency with which the data is being refreshed in data warehouse. So it will depend on the source. It will store current and historical data. Because it has historical data, it can be used for analytical purposes. Data is summarized. As you can see in this diagram using ETL, we are storing it in a form that will help us in analysis. Data type is structured integrated data. This will also have structured data. Use cases is business intelligence trend reports. It is mostly used for analytics and reporting purposes. Examples are Snowflake, Amazon, Redshift. Benefits is it is great for analytics, integrates many data sources. So you can have you can have SQL, you can have NoSQL, different types of databases. You can use ETL and then you, you can create a structured data and that can be stored in data warehouse. So the key differences between database and data warehouse is databases are designed for transactions and data warehouses are designed for analytics and reporting. Database will refresh live. So the database data is fresh and detailed. Data warehouse data is refreshed periodically and it is summarized. Databases work slowly for querying large amounts of data and can slow down transactional processes. But data warehouse will not interfere with any processes and they are generally faster than databases. Now the next one is data lake. The purpose of data lake is to store raw and unprocessed data in any format. So it could be CSV, it could be JPG files, it could be any sort of files. It stores raw unprocessed data in any format. So it has unstructured data. It is made for large amounts of data. It is used for ML and AI in its current state or for analytics with processing. Data structure is schema on read, very flexible. You can store any sort of data in data lake. Data types, structured, semi-structured and unstructured. Pick anything and you can just throw it in data lake. lake. Data lake is like, it's a lake you can throw in any sort of data. Use cases is ML, big data, IoT analysis. Examples would be Hadoop, Azure, data lake. Benefits, it is highly scalable, handles all data formats. Data lakes are also cost effective. They're very cost effective. They are a cost effective way to store huge amounts of data. Use a data lake when you want to gain insights into your current and historical data in its most raw form without having to transform and move it. Data lakes also support machine learning and predictive analytics. As you can see this diagram over here, your data sources can be anything. SQL database, NoSQL, flat file data, any sort of file. It could be anything. You just throw it in data lake. So data lake will have unstructured, semi-structured, 
for structured data everything all together and then using etl processes you can convert it into structured data and store it in data warehouse now the next is data mart a data mart is a subset of a data warehouse that is focused on a specific business function or a department like sales marketing finance hr instead of storing all enterprise data like a full data warehouse data mart stores only relevant data for that department needs which means as you can see this diagram over here data warehouse is huge it has all structured data but it will consist of data marts that is basically segre segregating it into different departments like hr finance and all the data for that particular department will be in a data mart so all the finance data will be in one single data mart then all the hr data will be in another data mart like that we have couple, multiple data marts and all of these are part of a data warehouse it is a subset of a data warehouse now next is lake house so lake house is a blend of data lake and data warehouse so from data lake we we take the word lake and from data warehouse we take the word house so it is a lake house lake house is a combination of data lake and data warehouse it will store all types of data and it will also support structured analytics a lake house is a modern data architecture that combines the scalability and flexibility of a data lake with the structure and performance of a data warehouse all in a unified platform it is the best of both worlds it will store all types of data unstructured data that we are picking up from data lake data lake has all types of data and it is cheap cheap storage and data warehouse it will support analytics and sql queries it will support all of it so it will have the best of both worlds now to give you an analogy a database is a filing cabinet which will have well organized files used for daily work so this is a office which has a cabinet and you are storing daily data in that cabinet that is database a data warehouse would be an assembly line it will process only finished and clean products for reporting so that will be used only for reporting purposes data lake is a storage room in your office full of raw materials it will have logs images videos and everything else it will have all the data all the historical data data lake will have anything and everything you just dump all sorts of data you have from your office in data lake now what is lake house lake house is a small factory raw materials come in get processed and finished products go out all in one place so lake house would have everything it is a blend of data lake and data warehouse it has everything it has data and then it is also structuring it for analytics everything it is like a small factory and data mart is a departmental shelf in a factory example just marketing tools or finance reports or hr reports so this is a particular shelf so you have organized shelves in your warehouse so that is a great analogy for data mart i hope this was clear and you could understand the difference between these terms better thank you so much for watching this video do check out our other playlist that would be helpful if you you are into analytics thank you so much for watching